Hey there everyone, so Google has just released their updated version of the Gemini 2.5 Pro model that is Gemini 2.5 Pro IO edition and this model seems to be primarily focusing on coding specifically web development and you know front-end development and it also seems to have improved agentic capability so today we'll be checking the front-end capabilities of this models and comparing it against Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking the reason is that if you go onto my website and check model recommendations you can see the best front-end coding model according to me is Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking whereas on LMSYS in web dev arena the newer Gemini 2.5 Pro actually beats Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So we have to find out which is the best front-end coding model. We'll be focusing mostly on the design and how things look. So without further ado, let's get started. So you can see I have the newer Gemini 2.5 Pro here on the left and Anthropic Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking on the right. So let's send the first question. Can you code a dragon using HTML, CSS and JS? So side view of the dragon and give your best implementation in one single code. Let's see what they come up with and who actually wins. Okay, we have got the responses from both models. Let's start off with Gemini 2.5 Pro. Let's copy the code, open up HTML viewer and paste it. And there you go. That's a cute dragon guys. We can see the belly, neck, wings, toes, tail and everything. So we have a button called dragon roar. Let's see what happens. So if we click dragon roar, so you can see we do see the breathing fire, but it's not coming out of its mouth. Anyways, it's kind of a good representation. And also, you know, and it's kind of moving its head based on the movement of my cursor so that is kind of good but let's see what Claude 3.7 sonnet thinking has come up with open up html viewer and paste it and let's preview that okay so again we do have a clear distinction of body neck head eyes which are moving according to my cursor we do have wings tail and you know the legs toes and everything let's see what happens when we make it breathe fire so okay you can see comparatively it's better and you know actually the fire is coming out of its mouth compared to my previous test where i compared the previous model i think gemini 2.5 pro's response is better so we do see some improvement in you know aesthetics but i think Claude 3.7 sonnet is way ahead and this point goes to Claude 3.7 sonnet let's move on to the next question so the next question is build absolutely the best implementation of the super mario game in a web page without using any external assets and in one single code let's see what they come up with let's send this question to both models so you can see gemini 2.5 pro has already started generating and 3.7 sonnet thinking is still thinking so i have seen this general trend that you know gemini 2.5 pro takes less time to think whereas Claude 3.7 sonnet does take quite a lot of time okay we have got the responses from both models and as you guys can see Claude 3.7 sonnet as always has generated 1642 lines of code that is quite a lot anyways let's start off with gemini 2.5 pro let's open up html viewer and let's paste the code and let's preview it and you can see this is what it has come up with it looks quite good i guess and we also have power ups and although the enemies are not moving guys that is something i have to mention but we are able to kill them and it looks kind of good let's kill these enemies as well and let's see if we are able to win and it says you win press r to restart and that restarts the game so it's kind of good the enemies don't move so we'll have to mention that anyways let's see what Claude 3.7 sonnet thinking has come up with so open up html viewer and paste that let's preview it in a new page okay super mayo start game so let's start the game and okay it looks kind of good guys let's see if we are able to take the power up so let's jump and we are able to move we are able to jump and i think those are the enemies and comparatively i think we can agree that it looks comparatively better we do see some warping over here but you know if we compare it with gemini's response in gemini's response you know the enemy doesn't move so i would say this is a win for Claude 3.7 sonnet thinking let's move on to the next question okay everyone so this is the next question here we are asking them to create a game that is very close to the game angry birds let's see what they come up with okay everyone we have got the responses from both models let's see what they have come up with let's copy the code from gemini open up html viewer and paste that and okay we do see a black screen guys nothing is happening so i'll have to say that's a fail moving on to Claude 3.7 sonnet let's copy the code open up html viewer and let's paste that and okay again we don't see anything guys so clearly this is a tie both models were not able to do that it's kind of expected because we are moving to harder and harder questions so let's move on to the next question okay everyone so in this next question we are asking them to create a solar system web page create a single page html website that shows all the planets of the solar system 
through scroll animation so so as you scroll you see animations so you might be familiar with this as it is been used recently in most of the modern websites so you will understand it better when you see the responses from the models so let's send this question to both models let's see what they come up with okay everyone we have got the responses from both models let's start off with gemini 2.5 pro let's copy the code open up html viewer and paste it and let's preview it in full page journey through the solar system absolutely awesome guys so let's scroll through it and okay sun our star looks awesome let's scroll further and you can see this is the mercury we have the information as well this is venus we have earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so it looks absolutely awesome guys we also have a background of you know particles which we can think of as dis distant stars nice let's see what lot 3.7 sonnet thinking has come up with let's copy the code open up html viewer and let's paste that let's preview it in a full page and solar system embark on a cosmic journey through our celestial neighborhood let's see let's scroll and this is the sun it's kind of interactive but uh, it doesn't look as good as what we have got from gemini i see anyways let's scroll and this is mercury but in mercury's response we actually see saturn's image and i think this is venus we don't see venus images and this is earth okay it has got the earth right it was not able to fetch mars this is jupiter saturn uranus so we can clearly see that gemini's response was actually better guys i mean it's miles better if i'm being honest although even gemini was not able to fetch some planets like jupiter but anyways you can see gemini's response actually follows our prompt so that's a win for gemini so what can we say let's do one thing let's open up my website and let me explain you so let's open up model recommendations and so this was the scenario guys the best reasoning model was openai o3 the best backend coding model was openai o3 again and the best frontend coding model was clot 3.7 sonnet thinking so what can we say after this test we clearly saw that when it comes to the dragon question frontend clot 3.7 sonnet was better moving on to the super mario question again clot 3.7 sonnet thinking was better talking about the angry birds question both models actually failed to give us a working code and talking about these the final solar system question here gemini was actually better so that is two points for clot 3.7 sonnet thinking and one point for gemini 2.5 pro so according to me it's my point of view guys the best front end coding model is clot 3.7 sonnet thinking let me actually show you why do i think so even in my previous response you can see anything that requires aesthetics there is no competition especially to clot 3.7 sonnet model so previously it was true and it was it is true now as well when it comes to you know giving aesthetically pleasing responses on an average you will see that clot 3.7 sonnet thinking will perform better but we have to say that gemini 2.5 pro was a very close second that is the reason it is the best overall model according to me the reason is that you know you can see the best backend coding model is mentioned as openai o3 the reason is anything that is related to python and things that are not aesthetically pleasing openai o3 will do very good job at it you know where looks don't matter openai o3 is very good but when it comes to front end coding and you know design and aesthetics the openai models are very bad except the gpt 4.1 series talking about the front end similarly when you, when we move to front end as we discussed clot 3.7 sonnet thinking is very good but it's not very good in back end coding and the reason why gemini 2.5 pro is best overall is it's a very close second guys whether you talk about the best reasoning model it's not the very best but it's a very close second talking about the back end coding again it's not the very best but it's a very close second and same stands true for front end coding as well that is the reason you can see i have mentioned why i think so it says gemini 2.5 pro is not the best pick when it comes to reasoning max front end or back end coding but it's a very close second in most of the domains and you can look at my review how it performs so this is my recommendations page guys so here i'll be updating the models that i recommend you can visit the website using this link below and i hope i was able to give you a satisfactory comparison i'll catch you guys in the next one